Where do you keep a drink? Say again? Where do you keep a drink? What am I going to do with the drink? That's a good question. I haven't thought about that one yet. Welcome back to the channel everybody and uh, we're going to answer that age old question Is McDonald's or Burger King better? Which one's better? McDonald's or Burger King? So, been in touch with my cousin out in Canada Diesel Hog Vlog He rides a Harley and uh, he's under the impression that uh, Burger King is better than a McDonald's and I'm not having it So, we're going to give him a ring now So, um, in conjunction with my Bluetooth, we'll give him a ring I just hope he's up. It's like six o'clock over here, so they're oof, they're a good good nine ten hours behind us. So we'll have to go out and get a McDonald's in the morning. <laughs> anyway, let's give him a ring. There we go, it's ringing. Right, I can put this away. Oh, that's a lot of a lot of editing. Uh, oh, what's this? Oh, not sure I recognise that number. Let it ring a couple times, could be a scam. Still ringing. Oh. Hello? Ah! Diesel! Ah, Jim! How are you? Yeah, it's Jim Diesel. How you going, mate? I thought you were I thought you were one of those fake phone calls gonna tell me I'm in trouble for from Revenue Canada. <laughs> ah. So what's happening today, bro? Yeah, well, I, I, uh, I'm just recording now, mate. Yeah, I'm just doing uh, our, uh, I've just told the people that you, you reckon that Burger King is better than, uh, what you call it, McDonald's. Are you kidding me? You want McDonald's? Really? So, we're gonna, we're gonna sort that out now. We're gonna, we're gonna put that to bed. We're gonna go out and get a McDonald's, mate. Come on, man. Uh, well, I go take some Imodium first, I guess. What are you on about? In case I get the shits later. Look, I, I know, I know you don't like McDonald's, right? Don't, don't kick off with me, mate. Yes. I, you know what? Burger King, all day long. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Just, just bear with me, right? We'll, we'll do McDonald's now, and then when we've done this one, you, we go and we'll do Burger King in the next video. Yeah. All right. That's fair enough. So McDonald's this time, Burger King next time. So. Well, I've just had a shower, so I'm good. All right, well, this will give me a chance to uh, try out my new GoPro uh, mount on my new full-faced helmet and my, uh, and, my, and my purple panda mic. I haven't tried that all out yet, so I guess this is a, a good case of uh, Mickey D's diarrhea will, <laughs> will, be good for, uh, will be good for a test. Are you happy with that, yeah? Right, cool. All right, then. Right, we'll do that. So... What we're going to do, mate, is I'm, I'm going to go to McDonald's now. Over here in the UK, it's 50% uh, off, so if I eat in, so I'm going to eat in the store. That's if I can get served. 50% off. <laughs> it should be free. <laughs> Dog food. What was that? All right. Yes, no, we have none of that here, so uh, no 50% no off, but that's okay. Uh, I'll, uh, I've got one a few miles from here. Uh, it'll take me a few minutes to gear up and and uh and hit the road anyway so yeah we're gonna go uh i'm hopefully gonna get hopefully gonna get a quarter pounder and cheese and then you can choose the next one got that happy with that okay cheers man i'm gonna go grab my gear right now and head out cool nice one all right mate right well um let's get going i'm gonna uh, set off and we can have a chat while we're riding along see you shortly on the road ciao all right see you in a minute Life saver check. Right, let's go. Woo! So with the uh, the magic of YouTube, we can now talk to Diesel. How are you going, mate? How's it going over in Canada? It's going good, pal. Going good. Uh, beautiful day today. Didn't start off that way, but uh, certainly is nice out now. Uh, only 18 degrees Celsius. So I am wearing a hoodie under my textile jacket today. Didn't quite think I needed to wear my leathers, but. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, so let's do this. I want to ask you a couple of questions, babe. So, first off, 
What type of Harley is it that you're riding? And if I was to get a Harley, what would you recommend? Say I was looking at six thousand um, pounds, whatever that is in uh, US dollars. Sorry about that, mate. Did you just say US dollars? <laughs> Oh, that's an insult. Ah, just kidding to all my American brothers and sisters there. Canadian dollars, sorry, don't, don't, don't hit me for that saying that. What would you recommend, mate? Well, first what I'm riding is a, a 2007 uh, Harley-Davidson Ultra Classic Electroglide. So yes, that sounds like something out of a porn show, but uh, yeah, I'm thinking, uh, 6,000, what did I see the other day? 6,000 quid, I think you call it, is about 10,500 Canadian dollars. So for that kind of money, you are getting nothing. Uh, nothing from, from Canada, from or like a new Harley Davidson, don't get me wrong. There's used ones to be had for that, but they do hold their value very well. Um, so to be fair, you're looking at starting at about 11,000 plus taxes uh, for like a uh, CX-7 or CX, is that what they call it? It's the, the new 750, a uh, bit more sporty, I guess, kind of, um, or uh, you're also looking at about uh, 11,000 ish, 11,500 for a Sportster 1200. Um, highly modifiable. Yeah, that's some good uh, gen there, Diesel. I like that. I, I have had ridden Harleys before. I, I've had a, I was out in Canada, I was at Medicine Hat. I had a, um, well, I actually picked it up, I hired it from the Harley Davidson in Calgary, and it was. Um, uh, I had a night rod. I was supposed to get a uh, uh, Road King, but um, I didn't quite fancy that, so I went for the night rod because it was had a bit more of a, a sportier feel to it. So anyway, my next question to you, mate, is right. As we know, I've been I've been to Canada, so I know that that drive from Medicine Hat, it's about a five six hour drive, isn't it, all the way to Calgary, just straight roads, isn't it, prairie roads, absolutely epic. So. What do, you think, what do you think of the roads out there? I know when you get up in the mountains it's good, you get the twisties, but does it does it fill your head in? Do you prefer, would you like to have like country lanes like we've got here, like I'm going down at the minute, or do you, do you like just having the cruise and you just switch off? What do you like, Diesel? So yes, Jim, it's about uh, actually five and a half hours to Edmonton from Medicine Hat, and basically two, uh, well, two and a half, well, it depends how you drive, I guess, uh, to Calgary from Medicine Hat. And, uh, yeah, you know, for what I like driving, let's face it, these big baggers, uh, this thing handles, let me, let me put this in the terms that I understand anyway, is that uh, this bike handles like a piece of wet toast. It's sloppy, so you get into some serious twisties, uh, it just means you're slow on way down. So, whereas that is fun, I do enjoy that, and uh, I do like mountain riding. Um, sometimes the prairie roads are nice, because it's, uh, especially on a big cruiser like this, uh, you set the cruise control, you got some good music on, and you just, you just get in your own head, you know? And uh, that's kind of like, what do we call two wheel therapy. So you can just kind of go brain dead for a little while, and uh but then you pop up into some neat places you know like like wayne alberta there where uh i went with uh with scouts <laughs> uh, boy that was nice and uh yeah you can find some pretty nice things even on the bald ass prairie now gotta be careful along here diesel there's uh these fucking things here, look at these, look, speed ca average speed cameras, oh my god, you're running at the wrong side of the road. Oh, be careful there, pal, stay in your lane, man, you don't want to be uh, a new hood ornament for some cager. What exact bike are you on there, Jim? Looks like a, looks like a fighter jet on wheels. So what am I riding? Well, uh, I've got, uh, it's a 2003 Aprilia RSV Mili. Mili for Italian means thousand. So I've just repeating myself. 
and it's um, I think uh, when I had it checked it's actually it's a Canadian import now this bike has actually come from Canada on the VN numbers it's uh, on the engine numbers in fact it's um, Canadian import so that's where my bike comes from and uh, yeah I'm really happy with it nice, nice piece of kit sexy sexy Italian motorcycle well that is a beautiful bike there man uh, definitely built for acceleration and twisties uh, unlike this baby <laughs> but it's uh yeah it's a great looking bike man anyway here diesel between you and me right what do you think of scouse can you understand him okay to be fair for th for this <laughs> i know you've been out for a ride with him and i think he likes to does he swear more than me you know, over in the uk don't we we do like to, we do like our f's don't we but um, yeah, between you and me, mate, yeah, can you understand what you're saying? Uh, I I needed to pull over. Uh, Scouse. Well, he's 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 from Liverpool. So what more should I say? <laughs> I uh, all my good Nick, all my good stuff. I I keep I keep hidden away when he's around. You know, you know them scousers, right? Uh, and uh, can I understand them? Well, most of the time, I find that uh, I find that you know a few pints <laughs> helps both uh, make it easier to tolerate them and also uh, easier to understand when he gets on about something of that accent I don't know what the hell he's talking about but honestly uh, that being said yes you're correct I have ridden with him on many occasions and uh, to be honest uh, Scouse He's uh, he's he's fucking brilliant, man, and he swears more than Samuel L. Jackson. So you got that right. Uh, more f bombs than a than a B fifty two. So yeah, that being said, um, great guy. Um, subscribe to his channel if you don't already, everybody. Um, yeah, he's my two wheel brother, and I love the fucking twat. <laughs> now, Diesel, we've got another speed camera coming up here. Now, I know, well, I don't know, but out in Canada, do you have stuff like this? When I was out there, we didn't, I didn't see any speed cameras. I just knew that the um, the police were pretty hot, especially, I think, at the end of the month when they have to get their quotas. You stay where you are, thank you. But, um, yeah, what about that? You got cameras? And what do you think of them? So, yeah, Jim, kind of. Um, we have a lot of... Uh, a lot of a lot of portable uh, photo radar we call it here you know you see little boxes sitting on the side of the road you see that's just a crossing thing but um, not really I don't know what average speed cameras are I so these ours are just photos so if you exceed a certain speed uh, it sends you a ticket in the mail here we go diesel we're here we're at Mackie D's oh look at the queue for the uh Leading driving. Oh, I just hope the the queue for eating in isn't as big. Uh, there's the Mickey D's. Oh, my guts are rolling already just thinking about the diarrhea that I'm gonna have. Ah, right. Let's have a think. Now we could queue up there. And there's no seats. I'll tell you what. Let's go to the driving. Let's go to the driving, Diesel. Come on. I'll play full price. I'll play the game. Let's play full price. Let's go around. It's going to be interesting. Yeah, can I get a, uh, a quarter pound of cheese meal, please? That large? Uh, no, just normal, please. How much drink? Uh, can I have a vanilla milkshake with that? Anything else? Uh, the, the quarter pound of cheese, can I just have it so it's just the meat and the cheese, nothing else inside it? Yep. Cheers. Anything else? Uh, no, that'll do. That's 559 and order 83 then please. Cheers, thank you. Thank you. There you go, Diesel. 559. I could have got 50% off if I'd eaten in. Alright, got my food. Let's have a look at this. Uh, so in Canada, so 1195 for the same thing, except I got Coke and not a cheeseburger. So let's unpackage. I don't really fancy queuing up. I'd rather queue up here on the bike. What a loser. There we go. Let's see if I can get in here. Crazy. Hiya. 
Quarter pound of cheese, Mill. Huh? Quarter pound of cheese, yeah? 559. Yeah. Where do you keep a drink? Say again? Where do you keep a drink? What am I going to do with a drink? That's a good question. I haven't thought about that one yet. <laughs> Ta. What? She thinks I'm crazy. Let's have a look. What have I here? What am I going to do about the drink? I'm going to start my bike up first. Lucky I'm only going over there. Hello. Cool. Oh, can I have that? Uh, Cheers. Ta, thank you. Lucky I'm only going over there. Thanks very much. Alright, try not to drop my milkshake. Alright, let's go over here. Let's have a bit of privacy. Let's go and sit under the trees. Oh, there we go. Oh! Nearly lost it. Check out the skills. No, like Joe Presky says, they fuck you at the drive-in. Let's just hope they haven't fucked me. And they got my dinner right. Let's check it out. So Diesel, what we have, I have a, a vanilla shake. Check this out, look, feast at this, look. Got handkerchiefs, so I don't get my food everywhere, mate. My straw, they actually sorted me out with a straw. Uh, there's the fries, oh, check these out. Now you've got to agree, mate, Diesel, that McDonald's fries are definitely better than Burger King fries. Shit, oh, as I've thrown them all over the fucking place here. I don't like. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Right, let's get the burger out. Let's get the burger out, mate. Get the burger out. Mm. Here we go. Right, oh, look at the state of that. Well, presentation wise, looks pants. There you go, burger, cheese, in a bun. Can't get much simpler than that, can you? Uh, alright. Here we go. Now, unlike your box, it does not look like somebody sat on my box. Quarter pounder cheese as instruction, but um, unlike you, I did not get rid of everything. I got mine fully loaded, which is three onions, uh, some pickles, and uh, I don't know what else is in there. But anyways, let's, let's put out a napkin, set this thing down, have a look at it. First impressions, not bad, not bad. Uh, I've seen worse, so not, not too bad there. And let's let's hit some of these fries, you know, McDonald's fries. No, um, no, um, no. Yeah, Diesel, here's one complaint for you. Now, we've gone down the route, I think, like the Americans and everybody, where they've turned the straws into these paper ones. And uh, I fucking hate them. They're really horrible because the hole's that big, you can't suck your milkshake up that well. And I hate the feeling of that paper on my teeth. It's like when people put their, their nails on a um, chalkboard. Absolutely drives me crazy. Ours are still plastic, my friend. No paper straws here. Um, we do have places that have paper straws. I think uh, A&W does. But you know what? In my pocket, you will see I always pack my own straw, and it's a bendy straw, if you can see that, see? Always pack your own plastic straw, Jim. But anyway, mate, how are you getting on with your burger? Is it nice? Well, here comes the dangerous part. It is kind of small, very small, like, when you look at it in my hand, it's like a kid's burger. So, let's, let's hit this. Um, Always, always check your bag, Jim. They saw you left, you left fries in your bag and dropped it on the ground. You can't, every one of these is like a little piece of gold. The other thing, uh, mate, is I've noticed, I don't know if you can get it in, um, out in Canada, but I know that Burger King over here, I'm pretty sure we can't get um, milkshakes. Mmm, and I do love a milkshake. Mmm, that burger. Okay, so I am going to make a confession. McDonald's fries are far better than Burger King's, probably better than anybody's. When it comes to fast food fries, um, yeah, love well, them. I'll tell you one thing, mate. I'm glad I didn't have to go and uh, sit in there because that looks absolutely epic over there. So, tell me, 
What did you think of your McDonald's? Was it nice? Have we swayed you? So, am I converted? No, pal, I am not. Um, it wasn't terrible. I mean, I don't think I'm going to get sick later. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, it wasn't terrible, but uh, not my favorite. Um, it'll make a turd, if you know what I mean, uh, in a pinch. So next time then, mate, it's uh, Burger King, isn't it? You choose the meal, and we'll uh, and I'll eat it. As long as it ain't any vegetarian crap. So we'll see next time. We'll go to BK and uh, see how you like that. And uh, to be fair, I mean, these were fried patties or whatever on the on the metal thing, whatever they call that on the the, the hot top hot plate, and. Uh, of course, the BK burgers are going to be from the flame broiler, just like barbecue, pal. So, uh, and no, no worries, there will be no vegetarian stuff. Uh, I am a Alberta beef loving, born and raised Alberta prairie boy. There will be no vegetarian or vegan food on the menu. So, don't worry about that. It'll be all beef, flame broiled, BK burgers. So Diesel, thanks again for doing this vlog with me, mate. And the magic of YouTube. And uh, hopefully we'll see you in another video. It was a great day hanging out with my buddy Jim Diesel today, virtually, and uh, I hope that uh, you guys will subscribe to our channels if you don't already and uh, remember to hammer that bell and please give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. So take care everybody, stay safe, thanks again Jimbo, appreciate the time, it was a lot of fun man. Looking forward to feeding you some BK, so take care and have a great day everybody. And on that note, that's where I'm going to end this video here, so like I always say, if you like our channels, hit the thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to our channels, hit that red subscribe button. And if you are a subscriber to any of the channels, hit that notification bell. That way every time the Screamer or Diesel uploads a video, you will get notified. And that, my friends, is Jim Diesel out. So, right up ahead, there's a tunnel, just well, it's actually a train bridge going underneath, but tell me, Jim, do you crank your throttle in a tunnel? Let's do it. Who can resist that? I just can't believe that Corvette didn't do it in front of me. 